These are like these little, these are like almost like little cysts, but they have like an oily substance. They're like attached to oil glands. So oil glands kind of secrete into them. So it's a little bit different than an epidermal inclusion cyst, which is usually what we see. I see, so these two are one, two that she can't really reach. So I think that's why they're still there. I mean, there's some small ones in here, but the good news is these, you can't see them. I would, I think you can't see them. I would leave them alone if you can't see them. You could feel them, yeah, but you that's can't. The thing. And so I you think you see them. Hand yeah, them. I know. Yeah. One little baby pinch here, okay? Just okay. a baby pinch. So I was just reading in the literature about these. I know they're very, they're very um, frustrating because you can, maybe you can remove them and excise them, but the thing is, do, would you rather have a scar? I mean, that's the, yeah, that's the issue. Okay. And because you're dark complected, you get this post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation that we see, this darkening. See that little opening right there, I think? Let's see, if, let's just see if this works here. That um, we don't, we can maybe try to aspirate it and see if we can pull anything out from this with a little finer needle. So you're numb there, so you shouldn't feel this, okay? okay? And let me know if anything hurts you at all. But we're gonna try to see if I can't pull some of the product out. It's probably gonna be such a small amount that it's not even gonna be that noticeable. I mean, in my needle hub here. Did anything come out? I don't see anything yet. Do we have a little alum plate in here, by chance? No, probably not. It's okay, you don't take anything yet. Yeah. Just wondering because... Mm. Oh, I don't see anything come up from this one. But I think I made a little nick on top of it. Let's just see if I can... And I can tell because it's such a small small little bumpy on her. I'm just gonna push against it straight down. So you get more of a gel-like look or like a little um, black head or white head kind of look. Maybe this is a little white head instead. This would look like a cyst more so. Those probably just like gel. Yeah. Let me get, get it all covered. That one I made a little nick with the, with the needle instead and it's numb here so I'm just gonna squeeze against it a little bit. And I do think we're gonna get out we flatten that nice, nicely here. A little white head here kind of thing. Let's see if we can't get all of it out. Let me just turn that sound off here. This is what we do. This is just from pulling. Just in case. Hey, I think we did. I'm trying to do as little trauma too as I can. Just trying to push and ease this out as best as I can so that you don't get, because she's darker complected, just like me, we get brown spots after we squeeze on something. So that's the problem too, that she looks like she's got a lot more bumps here than she actually does because of the squeezing all these areas or they've been Remove, express before so it takes a little while for that to heal it looks brown for a while but that does go away that is not technically permanent scarring to anybody I get that a lot with patients by the way people will come in and think that oh can you take care of these scars look these are permanent but they might just have redness or they might have brown and that is not permanent so you're not alone in that All right, I'm gonna put a little dummy on this lower one you okay oh yeah Gosh, okay I think that you'll, at least you're going away with something here, I feel like. And you did try a hydroquinone before? I did. I don't remember what strength it was. Yeah. Okay. I'll try to get you that too then. I don't think the thing is just the numbing medicine that is there. And I'm going to make a tiny little neck right over that little opening. Just a baby one for her. Particular, to be too traumatized and then let's squeeze this one here. 
and one little pressure on the outside of this one. There's two little white heads next to it. I'm going to have to say that I think these are more like you had them removed before and diagnosed, right? They biopsied it back at your home that yes. that they said that was DS. And you also say that you had oily kind of kind of texture come out of them. Yes. You have some you have a little baby small in here I can get. I can get some of these baby blackheads if you want me to. Sure. Okay, little baby pincher. Little ones, and you can certainly put something behind you so I can just grab it. Oh, they're hidden under here, girl. You're right. They're surprising. Right. Well, I mean, they come out. They, they're happy to leave. They wanna. They wanna leave, but I, I think, um, like I think this is a steatocystoma right here. Maybe. Let's put a little number right there and see first. A little baby pinch right here. There's a little bump pinch. It's like you can't see it so much, and that's why. Let me just see if this is one, but I'm. I don't think you should do all of these because I think you're just gonna get a little brown spot, you know. Mm -hmm. But I'm making it as minimal as I can here. Just one little nick there, and let's see if it comes out as a, a little more of an oily kind of substance. You do, you have some cysts back here. Well, I'm at a point right here that you want me to do more of them? Because you have some good ones here that I can take out. Okay. But if I do that, there'll be little brown spots. I don't think they're going to be as big as some of these other ones because we're trying to do it with minimal trauma. Mm -hmm. But are you okay with that? I'm okay. You come in, yeah, you come yeah. in again, sir. Because I think that's what you came all the way over here for. Mm -hmm. Right? You came from pretty far, so. I don't mind doing that. And thank you for letting us videotape it so people can learn your your story here, you know? And isn't it nicer when you put a little numbing in it before you do it? My gosh. Right. Let's see here. Can I grab, can you grab me a new piece of gauze? Just You're okay like this too, huh? Yeah. I'm going to try to get ones that you can't reach necessarily so much because they might drive you bonkers. Let's see, right here, there's one. Right here, one little baby pinch overlying it. Pinch. How do you like it? Did you go up there? No. Oh, you didn't? No. Did you move there for school or for work? Oh, how do you like the school there? I hear it's such a fun town. I actually went there for medical school. Oh, are you in medical? Did you go to medical school? I I'm did. so sorry. <laughs> you didn't tell me any of this. Okay. So this is a steatosostoma, it looks like, because this has an oily. Oh, it's like both. Huh. Maybe these are. I'm at a standstill here. I'm not sure. So what What do you, did you finish medical school? I did. And are I'm you a physician? Oh. Girl, I would have been talking to you like a regular physician, not talking down to you like I did. No, you're fine. You know what I mean? My goodness, I would have used like normal terms. Fine. All right, so what can we do for this then? Fraxel, yeah, it's too, it's an ablative laser, okay? It, it, yeah. it, it's not going to help with this. Um, Post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation it is superficial. It is it is deeper, and it can't it can't be so you know improved with a a a, a um, light skin lightening cream. But I would certainly try that because it's the pretty much the simplest thing to do. It's very easy and basic to do. So do you are you practicing in in? Uh, mm -hmm. I'll just say where. Oh, okay, lovely. I have some. I actually have some colleagues. I think they're in. Or they're very close by that are dermatologists, I think, from my program. I'll probably I'll probably them. 
Hmm? You probably went to them? Mm -hmm. Maybe, huh? Perhaps. Girl, you do have some good ones. Let me show you that one that came out like a little ribbon. Yeah, yeah you know. You've seen that before, mm -hmm. huh? They made it nice and flat. This, those ones that we do that to, do they come back again or? No. Okay, I that's good. All right, then let's do it. What do you think about this, what I'm doing and putting these on the, on YouTube? You think that's a strange thing or you think that's the way, the way a lot of this is going to go now? No, I think it's the way a lot of this is going to go. A lot of things, right? Because yeah. I feel like you can show what you do and then people understand it more. And then they also feel like they know you, you know, they trust you or they, they, they know what you're about. Okay, one pinch over here, pinch. I feel foolish now. I'm all talking to you like a, come on. Tell me, how do you like being a hospitalist? I like it. Yeah, I think it's a nice job because it's more like nine to five, right? Controlled and you go home and somebody else is watching for you. And then I'm off on, on Oh, road. wow. That's why you're out here. Yep. At least I didn't live in somewhere you don't necessarily want to visit. It has terrible weather. Right. You okay? I'm fine. Okay, good. Because, girl, you've got good ones. Yeah, I will tell you. Okay, I'm going to re reassess this that, you know, I do think that this texture of these cysts is a little bit different and is more a little oily kind of texture, so. Okay, go back to the idea of steatocystoma. Okay, I think we got, I mean, I, I really drained those there. And it's like, I think I got most of the, is there anything you think that I'm missing here? There's one right here that you know of, that you, in your mind, that there's one that's, that really bothers you, like on the other side or anything? I'm gonna go to the other side in a little no, bit. No, that's no, what okay. I can think of. I think there's one like the center of my back. Yeah, okay, I'll look. Mid-center or up? Mid-center. Mid -center, okay. I don't know, where you get into that one? Not easily. You didn't think about doing dermatology? Especially I did. with this, yeah. Especially with this kind of thing, huh? I know, it's I tough. Like other people's skin. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I don't like is yeah, other people's it's... feet. But, yeah. but I still have to touch them. Oh, here's the one I think you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, right. Does it hurt when you push on it? No. Okay, I'll be a pinch here. Right. It's a little bit discolored on top, like maybe you've tried to squeeze it before. I have. I don't know how you got to this one. I don't even want to know what kind of position you got to get into. <laughs> if you feel that dripping, it's just numbing, okay? That's okay. dripping out of the syringe. Can you scoot a little bit more forward? Actually, thank you. Now that I know she's a physician, I know she can handle it. Oh, careful, oh, careful with all this. All right, so now you have no excuse. You need to give yourself some triamcinolone ointment, okay? Okay. For your eczema, you have like atopic dermatitis. Okay. Which is what I have have too. You know, we have it and we're not really designed for this dry weather out here in particular. So um, you need to wear use a good moisturizer, like a good cream. And also, um let me see if I can even get anything out of this one. Uh and um I would use like an ointment. For in terms of for the triamcinolone, I would use an ointment in, instead of a cream because the ointment is, is stronger and is gonna stick longer. There we go, we got it. I think you got some out of this one before. Okay. You just didn't get it all. Why don't you regroup and put a couple band-aids on here first? I just wanted to inject them. But I think those are scars up top. I really do. The ones around your clavicle. Mm -hmm. Or it's been squeezed before. These are nice and flat. Let me see if there's other side. These feel flat. You've gotten those. 
This one, I'm just not sure if that's like a, if that, like you can't tell by just feel whether that is indeed a, one of these or if it's a, um, just a scar from being squeezed. There's one right here. Sorry, I'm sorry, I gave you a little scare there. I mean, I don't need to. I, know, I have a printout for you, but you can, you've got access to all the textbooks yourself. Yeah, it's a kind of a different. Slightly different texture and look to it. So good. Even a little forward right here. There's a bigger one back here. Good. One big pinch here. Pinch. Do you do you work at a big, a pretty big hospital? Okay, it's mm -hmm. a big town. Huh? Okay. I'm like um. I mean, as a dermatologist, I I want to stay away from the hospital. I do not like to go to the hospital. It's usually for like rule out scabies or something. That's the problem. Unless it sounds like you're probably in a big teaching hospital or all, you know, mm -hmm. so that's different. You get to see some interesting things. So, what would be ideal for you really to prevent these from ever occurring? I'm sure, but it's mostly the brown spots that bother you the most. Yeah, let's give you, I'm going to say, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you, um, tri, I'm going to give you triloma okay. here, okay, so you can give that a try and see how that'll help you, and like I said, take a photo of it. Okay. Okay, because that'll help you to monitor, baby pinch here, down here, pinch. Again, just like, and it's also best to like try to use the same time of day, the same room, because the lighting can change things. Mm -hmm. Try to keep everything as normalized as you can, which is helpful to help, um, Try to do it as objectively as possible. Okay, almost there. I think we just have like two or so here. Have you been to California before? Where are you from? What town? What, what, what state? Oh, okay. Try, I'm gonna try one of these and these two with this little scar here. Okay. And if it's not, I'm gonna inject it with a steroid. I think it's a scar though. I mean, even when I inject it, I could feel the stiffness. How long ago was this one squeezed? I don't know. Not, you're not sure? That one could be a while ago. Yeah, okay. I could. Now the ones you squeezed at your clavicle just other just recently mm -hmm. did they did it look like a CSO system when you squeeze no. or nothing happened you just kind of squeezed it mm -hmm. and nothing really came off of it okay yeah I don't think I think this is good. so I'm just going to leave that then I'm, I squeeze a little bit but I think it was just numbing fluid that came out and that one too I think it's gonna be the same thing I think we got all most of them maybe as many of them as I can feel or see just feeling around because sometimes they're hidden especially down here on your flank area you, you didn't get all of these here. Pretty good. I don't know. I think we're going to make progress here. I think this is going to help. I do. Let me see. There's little baby. No. Those are small time now when I look at them. They're like tiny, like a tiniest little blackhead. Okay, let's put a little band aid over here. Thank you. Short. Sometimes they spray me. Sometimes they spray me, and then that ruins your whole morning. That's why sometimes we inject. I try to inject on top over them, 
You probably see a lot of black guys assist in your job too. Mm -hmm. You're not a popaholic, are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, you are. Oh, that's. Oh, why am I saying that? Of course, I know you are. You have you have these things you're doing on yourself. No, I shouldn't feel that. Not bad. Oh. Yeah, look at that. What's this? Let's see that. What's that? Steel. That's a stomach, huh? All the oil trapped under there. See it? That's it. That's all you needed to do, really. Mm -hmm. Just squeeze a little bit more of that oil. Look at all that underneath there, girl. It's because it's, it's like a little con concave area, so you could hide it, huh? Am I hurting you? No. Okay. I don't feel a thing. I didn't even put that much numbing over it. I don't think that's like infected. I think it's a sterile little, um, it's like a sterile abscess almost. But if you were going to take anything, if you're not allergic, I would take like Keflex or something like that. If you want, we can even write it for you. What do you think? You think that feels flatter? Yeah, it looks flatter. That's my house. Yeah, all even. Feel it even through this with your, if you want to feel with your finger through that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, good? Mm -hmm. We got it all, you think? I yeah. think so. Okay. Good. Sorry, that was just squirted out. <laughs>